Back the way I came from. No idea what's the way I came from. Spider! Oh, spider! This way? Nope. No, this is the wrong way. I will fucking kill you all. Ow. Oh, just fucking swing the pickaxe! This way, then the right. No! Not that way. This way. Not this way either! Where am I? Out. I need to get out of this fucking tunnel. I'm gonna go fucking mad otherwise. Was it that direction? I don't know. Which way? Not this way! All that way. It has to be this way. No, it has, doesn't, because this, this one's just full of fucking spider eggs. No, and they're popping! Did I go this way? I'm so fucking confused! Ah! Uh, no! Swing the pick! More spiders! No! 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 Oh god, I'm gonna die again. I don't wanna die again. Did the tunnel collapse behind me? This is shit. This is just shit. Utter shit. Pop. Goes the spider. This way? I am so fucking confused right now. I'm back here! That's a spider. I guess I'll read the note then. Uh, 24th February 1972. I read this note in the knowledge that it may well serve as my last will and testament. Myself and three other miners have been trapped beneath the main shaft to the surface for what we believe to be three days. But with no daylight and increasing dehydration, it's impossible to tell. The only thing keeping us alive is the hope that we there could be a rescue team already on the way. We were all so positive at the start, but th that seems long ago now. Renton was the first thing to crack. Sometime during the first night, we all just lay there trying to sleep through the sound of his wailing and sobbing, trying to pretend his problems weren't our own, and that he was weak for having given up so soon. The uh, fact was, he was dealing with the situation pretty realistically. Our chance of survival gets smaller every hour. Since then, he hasn't said much, but the despair that gripped him seems to have spread through the rest of us like a cancer. We were such fools to ignore the foreman when he, and he paid for that with his life. When he started putting security code locks on all the doors, we thought he was crazy. There was, There's only us down here, after all, so why should we need codes to access places we're all allowed to go? He gave us all code sheets, made us swear to keep them safe. Mine hasn't left my locker more than once. It's still there. doesn't get much safer than that. We asked him who we were keeping them safe from, and he never said. It was a pain in the ass, is what it was. I had to trek all the way to that crazy biologist's office in the mining room th this morning just to check the code for Section C. But he obviously knew something about these mines we didn't. Some of the guys started acting weird. Not crazy weird, just not normal. 
That didn't stop a couple of them being carted off to mainland Europe for psychiatric help. It was no one I knew well, until the incident three days ago. We were in chemical storage when one of the guys who had seemed pretty straight just started shouting. It wasn't normal kind of shouting. I'm not any kind of wordsmith, so I just don't know how to describe the noises he was making. We'll just have to stick with the not normal. Anyway, he managed to hurt a couple of guys, damage some equipment before he got we got him under control. I think serious, when we released him he seemed okay, faced out faced, but alright. Didn't really know where he was for any far away look in his eyes. That look, I'll remember that for the rest of my days, even if there aren't many of them. His pupils weren't dilated dilated, they just seemed to take up more space than should be possible. Black, horrible. Then he snapped and grabbed up one of the high rated explosive packs. We knew what he intended saw in those eyes. Those that could made a run for it, but the guy was already bearing down on the foreman. He didn't have a chance. There were five of us who made it out of the exit shaft. Only four survived the explosion. The elevator shaft collapsed in on us, and now it's anyone's guess how many are still trapped down here. The last thing I saw was those eyes. Seemed like they were staring at me and me alone. Okay, so there's a code sheet. Not in a hurry to go anywhere, then. Under the book, maybe? Ultraviolet. I need to go to that room to read it. Why do I go that way when I know I'm going to get trapped? So I can move it! Screw this game. Or could I just move it now? I don't know. I'm out of here. I need to go back to shaft 12, read the note. Uh, whisperings. Shut up! No, I, I, I said shut up you, worm, not you. Good worm. No need for you to shut up. You're a good guy. I like you. Yeah, I do. No need to be angry. Through here. No, I need to go to shaft 12. I'll go through here. Long way, but... I'm hoping it's the safe way. Dog. No way he's safe because of the dogs. Oh no. He's going right for me, isn't he? <sighs> so not ready for this shit. So not ready. read the code, but I guess I need the ultraviolet light. Where am I? Here. Okay. Right way. At least I am going the right way. I am happy for that. This is the 
where the dog is. Right there behind the corner is a dog. <laughs> 